What is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I was excited to get to this artist today because y'all know we love prints here on the channel. Sometimes it's hard for us to get prints up. Like, we've seen people comment and send us emails like, why don't y'all do more prints? Other channels do prints. I don't know. On this channel, we try. It isn't always able to get put up. So. We can get it up. It just takes about a yeah, month in between recording, but it's worth it. Prince is always worth it. But today's artist, you guys told us that she was like the protege of Prince, and yeah. Prince wrote this song for her, and that she, or that Prince even, is the backing vocals on this. So definitely uh, caught our attention. But before we get into the good stuff, let us introduce ourselves. You are here, as always, with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl, Amber. Today, we get some Sheila E. I remember that she was pretty glamorous herself, but it makes sense that Prince would help write a song for her that was titled Glamorous Life. We're ready to jump right into it. Make sure you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. For you newbies, you guys send suggestions. Uh, comment section, email, you can hit us up on social media, and we give the people what they want. Let's check out some Sheila E. And it's hard because we were getting her confused with Sh uh, Sheena I, Easton. Sheena Easton. I was yeah. like, doesn't she sing Morning Train? So I went and looked at our app, our YouTube app, and I was like, no, she doesn't. And then I finally put it together. Sheena Easton is a different person than Sheila E. We've only done Sheila E. once. One we've done time, a lot yeah. of Sheena E. Now, we've seen her in uh, some Prince videos. Yes, she was uh, playing, I want to say, the keyboard in one of I them. I thought so. So, ready to she check her out fierce. again. Let's get it. Some Sheila E. And the way the way and first I first want to talk about the way that she's playing like the cowbell or whatever and like the different like rhythms that it, it's it's in, it's in, incredible. But then just her her overall like award, the way that she's dancing, her stage presence up there, and even the guys behind her like the way that they're so smooth in the back playing. And the guy came in yes flute. I don't know what it's the, a not a flute. I, I don't, <laughs> he played it out front like this. I don't know. We've what, seen other saxophones that were kind of shaped like that. I believe. I I don't want to be wrong, but Sheila E is so attractive, and I mean like attractive in every sense. I love how strong and confident she looks on the drums. 
there's something about watching her just grooving and seeing it and playing the drums and just being such a threat right there with that many skills shown without really even having to step out from behind the drum set. Now, you didn't even have to tell me Prince wrote this song to know that Prince wrote this song. You can song feel it. Because it feels like you Prince wrote this it. song. And then when she kind of broke out, she's got these dance movement movements. It's so suave and so fluid like Prince. So like, I could so see why Prince would pick Miss Sheila E to be a protege. And right. I, also, I also love it because it's kind of like her taking like, grip of her life because she's saying like she wants the glamorous life she right. wants the first she wants all this but what is having all those things what does that mean if you don't have love and then she also says i don't want no boy boys want small minds they want small and a mind, small yeah. talk oh that was so good and then she says you know women don't do it for me but i want a man and she also wants the glamorous life she wants the love and she wants it all and i believe she gets that <laughs> fire let's get back We need to say something. That just spoke for itself. Sheila. That was awesome. No, what spoke for itself is when when she kicked the hi hat. When she kicks the hi hat, I just absolutely lose all control. She's amazing. The I want to get some more for sure. Yeah, the song was so good, and also I find it fascinating to listen to a song that Prince produced or Prince wrote, right? Because he is a musical genius and it's so fun to watch him on stage do what he does. But to kind of see another artist carry that same type of confidence that exudes from him, just like having a song written by him and having a spirit like hers together, it just makes me want to listen to more music that Prince helped even write. Because no what he gave Sheila E was, whoo, that was crazy. And I love it that you could, you could hear the Prince style in the music. Uh, and you know, just like whenever, yeah, you know, Bee Gees. Like we'll hear a song like, "Oh, Bee Gees had to play a hand in this." Like, like it has felt. Yeah, like that's their what I'm style. saying. Yeah, right. And that sax had so many moments in it. Ugh, oh, that impactful was impactful moments. The whole song was impactful. I'm, I'm kind of sitting here on cloud nine because I enjoyed that so much from the video to Sheila's voice to Sheila's dance and to Sheila playing the drums to her kicking the hi hat to the saxophone player and then everything else going around around her. Perfection. Thank you guys so much for that suggestion. As we always send you out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every day that you guys wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, then hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you guys to the RSR family, but y'all will go every day just like we do. Let them know. All right, y'all, all you have to do is go out in this beautiful world today, spread some light, show some love, and if you can, make somebody smile. We love y'all. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.